Brothers, Brad Proprietor, Barstow Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 challenge video. This is probably one of the hardest challenges to do as Arthur Morgan. It is the Horseman Challenge number 9, the ride from Van Horn to Blackwater without touching water. I tried this maybe eight or nine times before I realized I need to come up with a solution. And one of the things I needed to do was buy a bigger horse. A Dutch warm blood is what I bought from the stable in Strawberry. Now, the Arabian horses are wonderful, fast, maneuverable, but not good at jumping. A bigger horse can make bigger jumps, and that's what is needed to do this challenge. Now, in order to give Arthur Morgan a fighting chance to succeed at this challenge, you need to figure out the jump cadence of your horse. And by jump cadence, I mean from when it starts to when it jumps. It needs a certain build-up time and speed. And from when you push the joystick forward and hit the A button multiple times, how many times you have to hit the A button, what everything looks like when you hit the X button. And in order to stick the challenge, your horse will need to be calm. When you get her to the area of the broken bridge, you got to make sure she is really, really calm. And also, it is a good time to juice your horse up with stamina tonics, health tonics, etc. And give Arthur a miracle tonic because that is how he has a fighting chance. And ultimately, you got to have your horse and Arthur to gold levels with health. And your horse should be at a gold level for stamina. And I'll explain later how you get that. But this is practicing your jumps, replaying and trying. And I managed to get this to work 70% of the time, which is really better than just doing it cold. So let's see. The horse is really calm. Let's give it a try. Yep. Oh. Yep. Once you get the horse jumped over and it works and you're confident, you kind of need to work on your escape route and figure that out. Because once you get the black water, you are either going to die or you're going to escape. And yeah, this is when I did this. Arthur was not juiced up and the horse wasn't juiced up. You used a train to your advantage to escape lawmen. And I was lucky at this point. Usually they attack and they light Arthur up. But you want to get your Arthur's health up to gold and your horse's health and stamina up to gold. And I'm going to show you how to prepare for this. If you arrive at Van Horn and it's anything other than morning, you want to go to the hotel and sleep until morning. The reason you want to do this in the morning is you can see what is coming at you and what is ahead of you better. Otherwise, you're going to wind up running into things and dislodging Arthur from the horse, and that ends the challenge right away. So yeah, go to the hotel and have Arthur sleep. Once Arthur is well rested, you want to get his health core up to gold. Uh, in this case, Arthur's health core is already up to gold, but I'm going to ensure that it stays at gold. And what you want to do is leave the hotel and you want to run down to the saloon. And this is where you want to brush and feed your horse. She might not be dirty, but brush and feed your horse. You want to make sure she's well fed and she's clean because that affects her health and stamina. A well-fed horse and a clean horse has good health and stamina. Hey, easy, bro. After you've taken care of your horse, you want to enter the saloon. 
and you want to order Lamb's Heart. Now, this will raise Arthur Morgan's health to the top level it can be, and it will give him a gold health core. I've just ensured that. Now, if you don't want to enter the saloon, one of the things you can do is eat minty big game meat. And that will do the same thing as eating in the saloon and eating a dinner. You want to go to your horse and you want to ride north of Van Horn. There's a stable at the north of Van Horn. And the reason you want to ride there is there's certain thing you want to get your horse. And that will help with this challenge. And once you get to the stable in Van Horn, you want to save. You want to do a hard save right before you enter the stable. And the reason you want hard save right before you enter the stable is if you fail this mission in any way or this challenge, you reload at this point and then you go into the stable. And the reason you Hard save before you enter the stable. I'll explain. You enter the stable to buy a service or something. A ser it's under tack and services. Services. Horse care package. That brings your horse's stamina and health to gold. For some reason, it doesn't work if you reload, you know, if you save after this, there's an annoying auto save. Well, that didn't happen. But if you save after this and you fail the mission and you reload, your horse doesn't keep the gold health and stamina. Now, once you get back into Van Horn, you're going to start at a certain point. And I'm going to have to cut to a successful uh, ending to this challenge. So I'm going to stop the horse at this point and I'm going to cut in the successful run. Before you start, you want to place a marker in a specific area right here over Fort Brennand at this juncture because this is going to be your first waypoint. And now to start the run. It starts after the sign, the time starts running. You don't want to run into that wagon because anytime Arthur is dislodged from the horse, the challenge ends. Rain doesn't affect this challenge, only running across a body of water accidentally. And yeah, if you run into a wagon and get dislodged, stuff like that. If Arthur is dislodged from the horse or he accidentally runs across, a body of water that ends the challenge and if Arthur dies that ends the challenge I did this challenge several times and again this is the successful run here I'm going you want to get the horse onto the tracks you can stop now again I've done this challenge several times and failed and this is the successful run the first time Arthur got dislodged from the horse and the second time, Arthur got the black water, but was killed. Now, once you keep running on these tracks, the horse will be at a trot, a quick trot. And at some point, while running, you want to go to the map, and you want to change your destination point all the way out here west, all the way to the Heartlands, where I'm showing you right now. Now, the reason you put it here is you will get a good, straight, sort of straight, fast run to the railroad tracks. And once you get to the railroad tracks, I will explain. Now, keep in mind, you also want to keep praising your horse while you're running. Because as you praise her, her stamina remains high. Now, be careful once you come over this ridge. You could run into some wagons or anything. And again, you want to stay on course. And once you get your horse to speed, you want to make sure you're avoiding anything that could dislodge her, such as 
uh, logs and stuff like that. So let's keep going with this run. If you stuck with me so far, we're about five minutes into the run, and now we've hit the tracks. And you got to stay on the tracks, and you take the far right run here, and you follow it. And you should be on track to hit Flatneck Station. And yes, the pun was intended. Yes, you could see an oncoming train. You need to slow down, let it pass. It should not affect things too much. And that's a good sign because you won't be on the bridge when a train comes. You just saw it leave. Now, you're going to slow, your horse is going to slow down to a quick trot and not a full gallop while it's running on this bridge. Don't worry. You should be okay. You have plenty of time. And once you get across the bridge, I'll explain what you need to do next. Once you leave the bridge, you want to keep following the tracks toward uh, Riggs Station, but you don't want to go past Riggs Station. Right here, you want to go up this hill and over the hill until you get to a certain path. And the reason you want to do this is you want to be on this path and you want to hit map right away. And map time doesn't change anything. You want to put your marker right here. This is where the broken bridge is 
and I'll explain to you what to do after we get there. Now you want to bring your horse around this tight curve and you want to move slowly through this area. And the reason you want to move slowly is there's plenty of rocks that can harm your horse. And by the way, we're at eight minutes, eight minutes into this run and it's 17 minutes. So you have nine more minutes and you want to take your time to calm your horse and get your horse prepped up for the jump and the ride to Blackwater. Uh, you bring her through the trees, you get her lined up. Again, you don't want to go past these end posts. You don't want to get flipped off your horse. You want to calm her down and you want to juice her up. Again, you're interacting with your horse. You can't do it. Give it a few seconds and you want to use your stamina, tonic, or potion. Potent is the best. You inject your horse, and you do the same with the health tonic. You inject your horse. She's got gold, and she's maxed. And with Arthur, you want to get the miracle tonic, a special miracle tonic. And that gets everything up to maximum. You only need your health to be gold and maximum for Arthur. And up, 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 a little too quick here. Well, easy now. You done good, girl. Okay, I double jumped but we made it over and now you want to go to the immediate left and you want to avoid the law as much as possible. You want to use the terrain as cover and you want to get the close to Blackwater as you can. And by the way, we are now 10 minutes into the run. Success and Arthur is really getting lit up. This is where I failed in a sense. I got the success and Arthur died. No, I want to escape. And yeah, they are lighting up Arthur. Once you get around this bend, slow your horse up because you want to get through these rocks. And yeah, this sucks, but it's working. And you want to get to the sandbar area. The lawmen are close, but now sprint across here and get to the other side. The lawmen won't pursue, but they will shoot. And once you get over to the other side, you want to come up here and yeah, you're safe. They're going to start investigating. And once your wanted level is down, you are successful. The entire run from start to success was 10 minutes and 11 seconds. If you practice your jumps, practice your escape, and yeah, you can probably do it. I'm going to put a save in. I'm going to save in an empty slot because I might want to reload and give this another shot. I don't know. But again, I have succeeded and it was difficult. It took a lot of practice. I mean, if you look at the progress and you go to challenges, I'm doing pretty well. 
I'm getting toward 100%, and this was one of them. You can do it as John, and you can do a long route, but why bother? This is a lot more fun and actually a lot easier, in a sense. If you found this video informative and you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week and some specials and some shorts and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.